There's one last optimization that I want to mention, and this is a hardware one. One might expect that the CPU had to execute all of the store instructions need to move data along the busk from memory to disk and vice versa. This would work, but it would be very slow. Instead, streaming devices like a disk have their own controller that is capable of sending along the bus itself. Through the bus, the CPU tells it the length of the chunk it's supposed to copy, the device address on the disk, the memory address, the command, whether it's a read or a write, and then tells it to go. The CPU then goes on about its business, while the device controller uses the memory bus to either read or write the data. Now the CPU and the device controller are in competition for use of the bus here. But because the CPU is going to find most of its data in the cache, it's not using the memory bus all that often, leaving it for the device controller. This phenomenon is sometimes called cycle stealing, as the device controller is able to steal cycles on the memory bus away from the CPU.